everyone. So you may, or hopefully you did notice, that my background is different. Kind of looks like a bed sheet. Not sure how I feel about it. If you guys like this, just let me know. So moving on to the portion of the video that this video is actually about is going to be the what's in my travel makeup bag right here. As you guys may or may not know, I posted on Twitter that I will be going to Disney on Monday, which is for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to Disney World. I'm so freaking excited. I will be vlogging it. I'll be making two videos in each vlog. So there'll be two vlogs going up for you guys because I'm only going for four days, well, five days, but the last day. You guys don't need to see me very upset and going home. So if you live in Orlando or if you work in Disney World, let me know because I'll be in you. So that's the inspiration for this video. Moving on. So this is my travel makeup bag. This is one that I got for free from Clinique because my mom is obsessed with getting those like Clinique free gifts. So I feel like everybody's mom is low key obsessed with getting Clinique's free gifts. So my mom had gotten this bag as part of it. So it's a pretty decent sized bag, I have to say. Everything did fit in here and also everything in here is FDA approved, whether or not it's like the tweezers or the like liquid ounces. Everything is FDA approved. You will get through security check with this stuff. So the first thing in my makeup bag is gonna be my regular foundation. I have a couple of different foundations that I like to use. In the winter time, I usually like to use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I brought my Makeup Forever HD, which is my other favorite foundation. This also gives me a little bit more life. It's kind of better for the summer months. That's just my own personal opinion. I feel like this is a little bit lighter on the skin than the Giorgio Armani one. So I'm going to Florida, so it's gonna be hot and humid. So then I have my beauty blender. Next we have is this primer. It's from YSL. Yes, I'm extra, but this is my normal primer that I use. I either use this or I use my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, which was like a hype like about a year ago. I still personally use it. I still personally love it. But this is a primer that one of my friends got me for Christmas. So thanks, Tina. I feel like it makes my makeup last really well and I feel really fancy wearing it. Then I have a couple of brushes in here. I have an eyeshadow brush. This is my highlighting brush. I know it's not like a normal looking highlighting brush, but it was cheap. And my highlighting brush is pretty big, so I didn't want my regular highlighting brush to get all like bent and gross being stuffed in here. Then I have my like little brush that I use for pretty much everything. This is like my favorite brush that I have. It's from Real Techniques. And then I have my little MAC 224 brush. It's just a, basically a buffing brush. I call it like my eraser because sometimes I'll put on an eyeshadow and it's like way too harsh. So I just go through this and I buff it out. It's a lot easier to blend with this. And then I have my blush brush right here. And then I also have my bronzing brush. It's all the brushes I'm bringing. It's a little bit of like a handful, but I need all of them, <laughs> or at least I tell myself that. So moving on, I have my eyebrow pencil. It has the brow whiz on one side, and then it has a spoolie on the other. So if you have a separate spoolie, and then like an eyebrow pencil, this kind of cuts down the cost. Even in general, this cuts down space. Then I have my eyelash curler because my eyelashes are cow eyelashes and they don't curl. So even to put on falsies, I need to curl my lashes. Then I have my eyeliner. This is just for me. If you have one eyeliner, great. I use two eyeliners to get this wang of mine. I use my YSL eyeliner, which kind of makes the flick at the end really sharp because it's kind of dried out and this eyeliner dries out real quick. But if you make a mistake, it's not like jet black, so you can kind of have room to mess up with it. And then this is the jet black one. So I go over what I did with this, with this and make it perfect, so. Also, a lot of you guys asked me for an eyeliner tutorial. So if you want me to do that, let me know. Then I have my eyelash thing that I use to put my eyelashes on because I have fake nails. I don't want to stab myself in the eye. I have my Laura Mercier setting powder. So I use this for everything. That way you don't have to bring multiple powders. This is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Absolutely love this stuff. I've had this since August and it still has m like one third of the product left. And I use this every single time I do my makeup. I only brought one eyeshadow palette with me because it's unnecessary to bring more than one. This one's just by Marc Jacobs. It's the Lolita palette. It's the one that Adele wears <laughs> because I gotta be that extra. This is what it looks like. It has pretty much every color. You wanna bring an eyeshadow palette that is something that you use all the time and it has every color that you're gonna need in it. This has every color that I need in it. I did this eyeshadow today with this entire palette. One transition color, one good highlight color, and then one good like in the crease color, or at least for me it works that way. And then I have four colors that I can pick from to put on the lid, which is something that you want in your 
travel makeup bag so you don't have to be loading up a bunch of different palettes just to do different looks like I'm planning to do all my looks with this whatever it's vacation I'm not gonna worry about going crazy on my eye, my eye makeup it's gonna slip off anyway thanks Florida I also brought one of the Stila the magnificent metal eyeshadows I think it is or something like that this is what it is I bring one of these I'm obsessed with these and I think it'll make any eyeshadow look extra I have every color but Kitten Karma is my favorite. I like to put it on top of pretty much any, like I'll swatch it on my hand, I'll dip my finger in it and like pat it on any eyeshadow look. It'll make it awesome. I'm sitting on my foot and my foot is numb. Like it's cold. So moving on to my little utensils. I'm bringing a pair of baby scissors and a pair of tweezers. These are my favorite tweezers They're from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Absolutely love them. They get down and dirty into your eyebrows. I'm bringing a pair of baby scissors. Both these I feel like are travel essentials. The next thing is going to be my highlighter. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills again. This is going to be the So Hollywood highlighter. Just my favorite highlighter. It's the one I use every day. For concealer, I'm bringing my Naked Skin Concealer. I use this to prime my eyelids and also underneath my eyes. Just as like a tip, if you don't want to bring eyeshadow primer, you want to leave it at home. Or if you're looking even in general for a new way to save yourself some money, get rid of your eyeshadow primer and just use your concealer and set it with a powder of some sort. I do this every single day that I put eyeshadow on. It's better than eyeshadow primer, and these are two things that I'm going to have anyway, so why spend $18, $20 on an eyeshadow primer if I could just use stuff that I use for the rest of my face. So the next thing I have is gonna be my eyebrow gel, which, self-explanatory, you don't wanna go on vacay and have crazy freaking eyebrows. Set of Expedition Everest, the Yeti, like I'm gonna be the Yeti if it wasn't for this. And then I have my NARS palette. These palettes are amazing. This one's specific, I'm not sure if they still carry this, but if you can find something very similar. It's a palette of theirs that has their bronzer, it has a couple of other like bronzing options, and then it has old blushes at the bottom. I think this is genius to have. You don't have to bring a big bronzer, you don't have to bring a blush, you can just have everything in one, and you have a couple of options, which is awesome. So the next thing I have, again, if you don't wear false lashes, you can cut this out completely and it'll save you some more space, but this is my eyelash holder. So for example, the two lashes I'm bringing with me on this trip are going to be the ones I'm wearing right now. They're actually the Tinkerbell ones from Sephora, which I think is appropriate for Disney World. And then I have my Vegas Nay Easy Elegance eyelashes, which I absolutely love these. And that way if they get all gross and watered down from the water rides and stuff, or if you're going on vacation somewhere that's gonna be hot and you're gonna sweat off everything, at least you have a pair of eyelashes that are not like 20 doll hairs. So, but I'm gonna put these two eyelashes in here. That way it cuts down on space and box space because you have to keep your eyelashes clean so you're not just going to drop them in your makeup bag. So I put them in here. I ordered this thing on Amazon. It was five, six dollars I think. Something around there. It was really cheap. Like it didn't hit double digits. But it has a space for three sets of eyelashes and you just stick them to here. That'll cut down some, some space for holding all my separate individual eyelashes. Then I have my mascara which just also as like a money saving thing that I always get samples of mascaras, especially if you order from Sephora, occasionally they'll have sample mascaras for you, which they come in these like little baby tubes. This one's a Chanel one. This wasn't from Sephora. I just bought something from Chanel like makeup wise and they throw this in the bag. That way it's also like really small, really travel size. You don't have to bring a huge mascara with you and you don't have to bring a mascara that you have at home. That way you don't lose it, misplace it. And these, this was free, so. If it gets lost, if it gets gross, I don't care. It was free. Didn't spend my money, did not spend my doll hairs on it. It works. Then I have some eyelash glue, which this is the House of Lashes lash glue. It's my favorite. Then I have my Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel, which is basically like a spot treatment you can use it as. Pretty much the only reason I have it. It's in this little travel sized container. So it's a perfect thing to bring with you. And then I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I got in this little container. I think I got this at Ulta, could be wrong, but they sell little travel size things of this. And if you already have the big size, get the little size, spend the money on it, and keep the container. Cause then you can just take your big one or like your big setting spray, put it in the little one whenever you travel. So that way you save yourself money 
in the long run, granted you have to get the little bottle in general, but it'll save you money in the long run, especially if you travel and you bring this kind of setting spray with you. And then the last thing I have is gonna be my Clinique Moisture Surge Thirst Relief. I got this again in my mom's little like free bag, but ironically, this is the moisturizer that I use every day. Best moisturizer ever. If I have to say, this is the best moisturizer ever. But if you do not obviously have the convenience of getting your favorite moisturizer mini, they sell little things at Target where like they're like little pots. And what I did was before I had gotten this, take your regular moisturizer, like scoop it into the little pot and put it on a little thing and you're perfect. You don't need to bring your whole big moisturizer with you. And you have it for a couple times. It's gonna last you a couple times. I think that's it. That's it, that's all that's in my travel makeup bag. Wow. You guys may be wondering where my lip products are. I usually keep my lip products in my carry-on, like when I'm carrying on, because I usually just carry on my purse and there's tons of lip products in there in general because once they go in there, they never come back out because it's just my purse and they never come back out. They never see the light of day again until I need to reapply. That's where my lip products go to die. So yeah, that's it. That's everything in my makeup bag that's travel-y. So if you guys want to see more of these videos, if you enjoyed me as a person, Make sure you guys subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. I just remember my next video is going to be my Disney vlogs. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking excited for you guys to take you guys with me. I'm just, I'm so excited. You guys are going to love my friend that I'm going with. His name's Wayne. You're going to love him. He's great. If you guys want to see more of these videos, make sure you guys give this video a like too. And I'll see you guys in Disney World. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. See you real soon. I don't want to clean it. I wish you guys could see. It's everywhere. There's makeup everywhere. I can't handle this. I want chicken nuggets. Oh my god. Also, do you like how my hair is not curled anymore? It's like fake curled. It's like, we tried, but we didn't succeed to be curled. Oh god. I'm stuck to the seat. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't wait to watch that thing.